Hello, everybody, and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. Once again, hello if you're watching this live on Twitch. We are glad to have you with us. If you're watching this on YouTube from the future, you can join oh, us God. live for one more week, um, Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Today we are playing Apocalypse Win, um, which is an Apocalypse World game that we have had running for several, several weeks now. This is our penultimate episode of the series, and I've completely lost track of what number we're on. Uh, but I'm sure it says it somewhere. So welcome. Uh, so excited to be here. Uh, before we uh, all introduce ourselves to you and get started with more time travel, um, I want to tell you about our sponsors that we have, whom we love. Uh, first up is Fantasy Grounds, our virtual tabletop of choice. Over here at Encounter Roleplay, um, all of the roles that you see happening down in the bottom corner of your screen is uh, happening on Fantasy Grounds. Um, it's a great virtual tabletop and you can try it for free at fantasygrounds.com. Um, so do that. If you haven't already, what are you doing? It's great and you should try it because you'll love it. Um, another one of our wonderful sponsors is Wayland Games. You can get all of the miniatures you need for tabletop gaming at Wayland Games. Um, they have a ton of stuff, D&D, Warhammer 40k, lots of great, wonderful things that you can get for 20% off. So go to waylandgames.co.uk and get some minis. You know you want them. You know you need them. Get them from Wayland Games because they're great. Uh, and then finally, this week, also check out our sponsor, Tabletop Loot, who we love hey. for their incredible, wonderful dice. Um, and if you like dice, you need dice, you want a free set of dice. Uh, when we hit 20 retweets on the live tweet for this show. Is everyone I like open? dice, so I poured, <laughs> I poured dice on myself. <laughs> So terrifying and wonderful, and you can be like Rob if you get all of your dice from Tabletop Loot. Um, you don't need you don't need to be like Rob. You could. Please but, don't but be like, like Rob. Like Rob, there's please really for the like love Rob. of God. There's, don't there's be like only me. one Rob. There's be only better than me. <laughs> be better than Rob and win yourself a free set of Tabletop Loot dice. When we hit twenty retweets on the live tweet for this show, we'll give away a set of Tabletop Loot dice to somebody who's in the chat, and then you can be just like Rob and terrify your MC by making very loud sounds with all of your dice. <laughs> but great news. They'll be free because you'll have one then. Clip that. Clip that, please. Thank you. So yeah, retweet the tweet, tell your friends, um, and also support Tabletop Loot at Wayland Games and Fantasy Grounds because they're great and they make great stuff. Um, and then, fine, there's already a clip in the chat. This is wonderful. <laughs> I love Sundays so much. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can also donate to us to interact directly with the game. Um, you can give the wonderful players here some critical successes, critical failures, um, psychic maelstrom surges, uh, and lots of other fun stuff if you uh, donate directly to the channel. And then finally, if you see another moment that you love, um, like Rob's dice show that just happened uh please clip it on twitch so we can plaster it all over the internet and embarrass ourselves for the rest of time <laughs> and also we love watching them and we love to share them so share the things you love with us that is all of the uh announcements and things i am going to do so uh let's go around real quick Cast, and we'll tell you who we are and what we're doing today. Um, I am Savvy at Savvy Seaworth on all of the social medias and the master of ceremonies for this game, which means I'm running this boat. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, really, is the main place where I post all of my stuff. And when I'm not here, um, I do all of my streaming at twitch.tv slash game nights. It's game with two G's and nights with a K. Um, and I play video games and run Monster of the Week and play a lot of D&D, &D and yeah, I'm in charge. <laughs> Rob, who are you? Hi, and, and just like she's in charge of making sure this runs smoothly and swimmingly and, and just coherently. Uh, I never promised I'm, any of those things. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here just to... <laughs> apparently screw it up uh hi i'm rob i'm i think i'm gradually losing my mind every stream 
Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash bonus underscore stage underscore Rob, where I'm playing a bunch yeah. of games. Uh, but when I'm not doing that, I'm super happy to be here, and I will be playing Verulo, uh, our angel, um, which I never mentioned. I never remember to mention that. So there you go. <laughs> That's for you guys on the almost last episode. LB, please stop me. Uh, <laughs> You'll get us some cowards. We in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm LB Hack'em Up. You can find me at LB Hack'em Up on the Twitters. I'm also on Indoor Adventures channel, uh, as well as um, Damn It Berries. After this, I will be on Pro Restarters channel, like directly after this. Um, and on the 27th, we are doing a charity stream on Indoor Adventures channel. Um, yeah, I will be running Kids on Bikes. Rob will also be in it. He's in. A I'm in that. In also, the- as well <laughs> too. Also, as well <laughs> as well too. Also, <laughs> he's in the game directly after me. So, um, yeah, but he'll be playing at nine. I'll be playing at six uh, Pacific Eastern Standard Time. Eastern. You should have mixed time. those anyway. <laughs> okay. And okay. GB's not here yet because he was at my house. It's my fault. We were dripping <laughs> up the carpet from my stairs and we lost track of time. So he will be here wrong. soon. He's not here to hold us all together. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. He'll be here shortly. Yeah. He'll be here real right. soon. That's it. Okay. And GB's not here. And so I'm here. Uh, hi, I'm Christina Sid. I'm at Greek Sid on the Twitters. Uh, I'm playing Carla, our brainer. Um, where am I? I'm at uh, Femsling Cast on Tuesdays, and I'm over on Wondering DM on Wednesdays. And I'm also going to be playing in the charity game at Indoor Avengers on the 27th. Uh, I don't know when I'm playing. I was actually going to bug GB about that. I'll ask him <laughs> later. Um, but I'll be there. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be a surprise for you, for everybody it's else. For everyone. It'll be, It'll be great. great. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I'm very excited to continue to play our good friend, Carla. All right. And GB is playing our uh, wonderful gun lugger, Sergeant Traeger. Uh, he will uh, reappear from the maelstrom shortly. Um, but... Before that happens, uh, any uh, pre-game moves that need to happen, we can do those now. Uh, Maggie, have you rolled? Where did Fantasy Grounds go? (gasps) There it is. It's gone forever. I did roll. Um, (laughs) Okay. Oh. It was super good. It wasn't super good. It was just normal good. Well, that's seven. Just regular good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what, what do you what do you, what do you get a seven? Uh, <laughs> I, I succeed, and they get plus one, or they get uh, a surplus of something, and I'm okay. checking to see what I want. Great. Uh, let me know what you I will. pick. Verulo, do you have a pre-session thing? You just get stock. No, I just get one stock. Um, okay. In game wise, I don't really know how that works. Who's supplying me anymore? I don't know who to trust. Uh, uh, probably it, the doctor. Yeah, I feel like okay. Virillo just kind of goes about his day, and he's like, "Ooh," and just puts it in his bag. <laughs> whatever. He finds. Stuff. The candy. Yeah. Yeah. Candy. All right. Candy. Um, candy. And Traeger can roll for his when he gets here. All right. Let's do uh, the three of you. We'll do highlighted stats. Quickly, uh, let us start with. Sorry, uh, okay, reading Elby's message. Let us start with Carla. Er, Who has the okay. highest history on your sheet? On my sheet, on my sheet. I should probably pull my sheet up for that, shouldn't I? Uh, I have too many sheets. Uh, it is. Oh, shoot, it's Traeger. Too many sheets. Who's not here? Mine is also Traeger. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Anybody have one who's not Traeger? <laughs> He's so popular. So popular. <laughs> is it was Traeger, too? Maggie and Traeger. <laughs> okay. Give them both to Maggie. Just give them both to Maggie. <laughs> That's funny. It'll be fine. Uh, we can always well, just, like, retroactively do it, right? Like, uh, Traeger yeah, is we could. popular. Uh, we'll put, yeah, we'll get to it when he I don't know. Gets. Yeah. 
here. Um, but and if we we'll, rolled anything that would need it, I don't know. Yeah, we will uh, go ahead and get rolling here with a little bit of a recap, and hopefully he'll uh, be here soon. So, uh, where last we left off? Um, pulling out my notes from last time, because lots of things were happening. Um, you all had found yourselves, I guess kidnapped is probably the best word for it, um, and imprisoned within a cell within an era bunker. Uh, you all, the four of you, with the help of your new friend, Dr. Farrah Masterson. We're not. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm going to say friend, but you all can qualify that relationship however you wish. Um, with her help, uh, you managed to escape your cells, um, get your gear back, and make your way out of said bunker and out into the post-apocalyptic wasteland, uh, of which trailer, Traeger... Trailer? I don't even know who that is. Uh, Traeger <laughs> is uh, very familiar. Um, but the three of you, not so much. Um, so everyone having their sort of first encounter uh, with what exactly happens after the world ends. Um, you all then put on your hover boots and uh, made your way across this wasteland following the directions of the doctor toward an old research facility. Um, you encountered some people who were sort of uh, Mad Max style living out in the wasteland, uh, very quickly dispatched them thanks to uh, your brain powers that you all have and some convincing and took their cars and all of their guns very successfully oh, yeah. and I have a gun. made your way. It was very, you do have I a do gun. Guns. And, and Carla yes. has guns <laughs> and everyone is very, I'm sure everyone is very excited about this turn of events. Um, made your way to the wreckage of a uh, facility where uh, Dr. Masterson had a lab. Um, lots of strange things in there including a non-working elevator, a tripwire, um, and some different traps that you all successfully got rid of and did not get blown up by the C4 strap to the wall. Um, and the major way into this lab uh, where you found a frazzled Dr. Masterson trying to, you know, figure out time travel again. Um, some human remains from you're not exactly sure what kind of uh, things were going on in this lab. Um, so you talked some more and are now in the process of trying for the first time to time travel all on your own, not only to a different time, but to a different line entirely from where the timelines had split. Um, so it is going to be up to the three of you who are here to roll where you land. Is there anything you would like to do the three of you before you attempt to jump across timelines. Did the good doctor have any idea of where we should begin? Or is this a crapshoot? Or... Nope. Uh, she has narrowed it down for you to about 10 different timelines, she said, which I'm, she gives you access to this information somehow using technology. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you sort of have, have basic access to her information. Um, I don't know. I'm not a real scientist, but uh, <laughs> she has told you she's narrowed it down the best she can. Um, unfortunately, she has no way of locating the other versions of yourselves. So unless any of you have anything that would perhaps let you do this, you're sort of on your own. And what happens if this doesn't work? Do we just go back in time like we have been? Or what if we miss this mark? Hmm. An interesting question. I really hadn't considered the possibility of failure, if I'm being honest with you, uh, because I usually don't 
But, uh, I mean, I suppose if you don't die on the way over or the way back, then you could just try again. What, 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 why would we die? What would kill us? Ourselves. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I had to make a list, probably at the top of it would be any of the other virgin versions of uh, Sergeant Traeger, for one. Also, it's entirely possible your molecules could be ripped apart and never put back together. There it is. There it is. I knew there was one of those. I... <sighs> Oh, come now. You're a smart boy. You'll be fine. Uh, my well, intelligence will hardly to... matter when it's scattered. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, let's see. Number five? Number five. Sure, we'll stop in the middle. Walk our way out. Or in. Sure. Sure. Five, uh, five Maggie, is a good number. <laughs> Maggie's going to lean over to Barulo. You know, if we're dead... It won't really matter if we win or lose. I would rather not be dead, I think, is the point that everybody is I missing concur. here. I'm just saying. You can only worry about so many things, and something that's so out of our control, it's something that you shouldn't worry about. I don't plan on dying, because I have this and this. <laughs> It'll be fine. These can come with me, right? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, anything on your person? Excellent. All right, let's go. <sighs> yes, okay. Your friends are right, you know, Verulo. There are much worse things that can happen to a person than death. So, ready to go? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, I don't know how you all normally do this, but uh, group up, I guess. I'll uh, get you the information programmed into your uh, little devices there, and I guess think very hard. <laughs> and she goes over <laughs> as you all form uh, your circle, goes over to her um, computer station again, types in a few things trying to get you on target for where you are going to land. I'm going to have the three of you roll plus weird. Oh, God. oh I can't roll with see... my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I ruined the whole bit. Uh, <laughs> all right, everybody roll plus weird, and that will tell Oof. me plus weird. what timeline so number five is going to be. Oh, well, God. I hate it. That's, yeah, oh, that I don't might, hate that. That might be the absolute highest that I can possibly <laughs> we, roll. We win it the is. game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, time is fixed. I'll tell we you. We win. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. GB, don't bother. <laughs> don't bother yeah. showing up. <laughs> we did it. Take, well, thanks for joining off, us, man. everybody. We, we saved time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've got a nine for Maggie, partial success, a partial success, a seven from Verulo, and a 15 from Carla. And I... I'm going to see which outcome you get. Oh, this is oh, okay. Should, okay. Does somebody need to roll for Traeger? Uh, I will. No, I won't. You can't see my rolls. And I don't want to turn it off right now. Yeah, somebody go ahead and roll for Traeger. I'll roll okay. for Traeger. His this is bad. Does he have weird. a weird? Uh, let me look. His weird. Nope, zero. Zero. The regular, regular old. Oh, I oh. should not have rolled for trigger. I shouldn't have oh, said no. shit. Oh, oh, we have no. to stop rolling for each other. This doesn't I'm work. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. That changes I'm also things. noting. I, oh, oh, no. No. oh, no. I'm also noting every roll just so that when we do stats, we can do things yes. accordingly. So I'll just say that, big, big yeah. F for Traeger. That's Ew. great. We will, because uh, he'll get XP for that, and then we will uh, retroactively oh. apply your highlighted stats today. Yeah. Okay, so the four of you put your hands together and focus very, very hard, and uh, you all sort of feel, for the first time, 
um, mostly in control of this feeling, um, less like you are hopping on a bus through time and more like you are driving the thing and you see a flash of bright light and hear some familiar popping sounds as you whoosh through the timelines and you seconds later <laughs> land a uh, Traeger <laughs> flat on his back. Um, <laughs> sort of problem not used to being in the driver's seat i think um he'll be all right nothing nothing too bad happened to him this time around and as you land um your ears start to ring with the sounds of shots being fired overhead um you find yourselves in the middle of a battlefield it's a little bit familiar to you. Um, you are close to, as you kind of look toward the skyline, the building that you were just previously in with Dr. Masterson's lab and the surrounding complex, um, but it is definitely different. There are dark clouds sort of overhead as these shots ring out around you. You can see these sort of flashing red lights and you hear footsteps lots of them almost like marching and the clanging of metal um from one side of you you hear screams and yells and people shouting out commands um and on the other side coming toward you you see what look to be soldiers in a line um this huge group just marching on this complex and they are humanoid but they're made of metal and bullets are bouncing off of them. Um, welcome to the robot wars. So you find yourselves in the middle of a different apocalypse. Um, as this is happening and you are sort of taking in what is happening around you and I assume trying to get out of the way of uh -huh. the uh, bullets and lasers and um, things that are flying around you, you hear a familiar voice uh, from off to one side from behind sort of a large pile of rubble. And uh, you turn over as you hear someone shouting your names, a very familiar voice, uh, because it is the voice of someone you just left in her lab and you see poking around the side of one rub uh, one large pile of rubble, a version of Dr. Masterson, um, very, very different, sort of totally gray hair pulled back in a tight bun um, wearing this body armor and she is waving frantically at you and shouting your names. We bail. Okay, we go there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Ver yeah, I'm, Verubo I'm... is just kind of like staring at these robots and, and kind of just complete awe and also terror but mostly awe and like he doesn't initially react to the doctor uh maggie will grab him if he's not coming what what oh uh, uh yes sorry okay well, let's, let's go all right Keep and trigger Traeger picking himself up off the ground will follow um, as the four of you duck for cover um, and you see a um, a different version essentially of Dr. Masterson, her face and voice familiar um, but little else about her as she is holding um, sort of a large uh, weapon, almost like a rifle, um, looking like she probably knows what she's doing with it and is sort of looking at the four of you um, uh, excited to see you and then a little bit wary and she sort of turns her rifle on you once you're out of danger and says, all right, are you the real you? Are you the other you? Which you are you? How on earth are we supposed to answer that? We don't know what the real, what, which one are you talking about? There's like a hundred timelines or something like that. I'm not supposed to know. Okay. Well, at least you know about the timeline, so I don't have to explain it to this version of it. Well, oh, oh. Do you know you know me? Yes, right. Amy, yeah. a version of me. Yes. Farah, Great. yes. Big brain, yes. Right, and you're not going to do the the masks and the... Oh, no, fuck that. No, 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 no. We're not done with that at all, no. Right, that's enough for me. Uh, shit. Uh, 
I've lost my versions of you. <laughs> so you'll have to do, I guess. Um, lost as in we're to... dead or lost as in you don't know where they are or lost as I've... in... I don't know where anything is, really, um, except for the army that's marching on us right now. Welcome to the apocalypse, by the way. Um, I'm, Thank uh, you. I'm I brought my own gun. She sort of eyes the shotgun that you have and is like, right. Um, I need your help. Right. What do you need? Well, um... I've lost my use, so you'll have to do. Uh, I'm trying to fix this, <laughs> all this that's happening around us right now, you know, with the lasers and, and the, um, the robots going totally against their programming. Um, it's all sort of my fault, but I think I can turn it off. But I have to get up there. And she points um, sort of to the other end of the complex to a building that you're familiar with where her lab was to the very top. Um, it looks a little bit different. It's more intact than the last one is. And also on top of it, there is this huge sort of metal spire um, coming out that is sort of sparking with electricity. I need to be up there and not down here. I hate the shooting part. Uh, all right, how do we get there? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there's about a thousand metal men between us and there, so I was hoping you would have some ideas, but I've lost you. Do you have any ideas? What exactly is the layout of what we're looking at? Uh, so currently you are sort of behind this large pile of rubble that has sort of come off the side of one of these buildings. Um, in between you and this building that you need to get to, there are several blocks of other, um, other buildings, some of them partially destroyed, some of them still intact. Essentially there is one main road that is heading sort of down through this complex of buildings. The tall building you need is at the end of it, and between you and it is an army. Uh, I think we need transportation. Uh, I think I can help with that. Follow me. And uh, she sort of looks around the rubble a couple of times and says, all right, we're going to have to run for it. So, uh, duck, I guess. And she looks again, and then she sort of takes off down the opposite direction from uh, the building you are trying to get to and sort of weaving in and out uh, behind these pieces of rubble and goes around into uh, sort of an alley a couple of buildings away. Follow? Uh, right. Uh, yes, stick close to Traeger. He seems uh, to be the most well-equipped for this. Well, that's not all true. Maggie uh, grabs Varela's hand, and then she's going to have her companions uh, sort of materialize in front of them as they're running as, like, a blockade. So if anyone shoots at them, they'll hit the followers instead. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll plus weird. Cool. Thanks. Well, that's brilliant. You're not the smartest one here, or maybe close to. Uh, all right, so as you all uh, duck out Traeger taking the lead, because um, he has the most guns and armor, um, the uh, Maggie's followers sort of materialize around you, forming essentially this sort of translucent shield. Um, and as you go, you can see a couple of them um, as these uh, bullets and lasers sort of are going through them, they will kind of dematerialize and then rematerialize a little bit later, um, sort of trying to keep these holes patched up and keep you all from being hit. Um, this is very successful strategy um, as you make your way down the street very very quickly following Dr. Masterson um, protected by Maggie's followers and uh, Traeger laying down some covering fire uh, so you make your way around this corner um, and you can see the doctor sort of in this other pile of rubble kind of clearing away uh, some uh, like branches and rocks and things that have been like laid 
over some things here in an attempt to camouflage them. And as she's pulling them away, um, she wheels out uh, something similar to something, Carly, you might be familiar with, and definitely Traeger, uh, two sort of large two-seater motorbikes. Cool. And as she's kind of pulling them out, um, says, uh, some of you know how to drive, right? For the most part. Maggie shakes her head. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I will then leave these uh, with in Carla and Traeger's capable hands, I'm sure. Um, I just need you to clear me a path. Uh, if we can get to my lab, uh, I think I think I can fix this. All right. Uh, are you coming with us? Oh, yes. I have my own. Um, and she sort of goes back and is like pulling out a, uh, a smaller kind of motorbike. <sighs> so glad they're all intact. That really would have put a damper on the day. Um, so. All right. Well, if I'm driving, then someone else will have to shoot. Maggie, Verulo. Uh, uh, sure, sure, fine. Wonderful. Hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> sort of guide it onto your shoulder, and then only point any only point at things that you want to kill, please. She, she points it at the ground. And, okay, and, good, and good. The, the trigger thing, is this trigger thing? Yes, but don't put your finger on it unless you want something to die. Right. Do I have to... Do I have to chamber uh, anything? With or this is it kind, yes. With this other one, no. You just shoot things. Do you want the easier one? I can give you the easier no, one. I've got it's it, I've got like it. I've, I've okay. gone shooting before. I've got it. All, right, all right, all right, all right. I believe you. Just trying to make this as simple as possible. All right. So over to the side of you all, Doc, uh, Dr. Masterson is sort of laughing to herself and just kind of looks at Maggie and says, well, if I was concerned that you were the uh, most evil versions of yourselves, I'm not anymore. She kind of just straightens her outfit. <laughs> all right, let's get on this. Just don't go too fast, all right? Um, I thought going extremely fast was kind of the plan. You might not have that option. Right. All right. It's fine. Let's go. Uh, All right, vroom vroom time! Come on, Traeger. All right. So Carla and Maggie on one bike and Traeger and Verulo on the other. Is that? Sure. You look so yep. concerned. <laughs> I'm oh, just, always concerned. He's just a ball of concern. <laughs> throw, throw your arms around his, Verulo his, right his, now his massive is, chest. Verulo right now is seeing one of uh, Leonardo da Vinci's sort of creation, sort of, like, in armies. Like, this, he has notes on a robot, basically, like a me mechanical suit mm -hmm. of armor. And he's just... His whole world is shattering right now all over again for different reasons. It's great. Everything's fine. He's, yeah, just strap up, big guy. Let's go. I hate this. <laughs> all right. So uh, the four of you get on to these bikes. Um, Dr. Masterson will show you how to start them and everything. And she says, uh, all right, I'm following close behind. But uh, I'm on my own on this one, so you're in charge of the clearing a path thing. Good. All right. So, do you want to go first? You want us to go first? Uh, what would Traeger? Traeger would go first. I, I feel like Traeger would probably go first. Yeah, yeah, he'll volunteer to uh to go first and probably hand some sort of gun to Verulo. I don't know what kind of guns he has. 
You have a gun now, if you want it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't ignore shoot your us, right? <laughs> I, I know that. Well, we'll be close Remember. to each other. I just want to make sure. I, at least I've gone skeet shooting before. It's a pastime of aristocrats, I guess. I've seen crossbows be used. I'm not. I'm not completely in the dark. I just. Take your hand off the trigger. You're not shooting anything yet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I know. I. It's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Traeger, ignoring your concern <laughs> and fear. Um, <laughs> starts up the uh, motorbike, which sort of roars to life with this loud mechanical sound. Um, Carla, assuming you follow suit, uh, mm -hmm. and you take off uh, Dr. Farah Masterson close behind you. Uh, what What's the plan besides drive very fast? Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Bob and weave, okay. <laughs> Stay uh, out of the way, Bob and weave. All right, so uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. That's four vehicles fighting vehicles. I don't need that, just need the regular driving. All right, uh, so I am going to say, I'm gonna have you guys do a couple of rolls here. Um, so okay. as you take off these things, has Carla, Carla has ever, have you ever been on a motorcycle before? Probably. <laughs> that seems right. Um, <laughs> she she, might, she might not have probably. been sober at the time, but um, yes, probably. Okay, so compared to the uh, the bikes that you have been on before, this is almost impossibly fast. Um, and it is probably quite the rush. Um, but I am going to have... Who wants to, who wants to be in charge of rolling for Trigger? I'll do it. I've already failed miserably at this. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be All right, so uh, I'll be going to have, yeah, for this, I'm going to have you roll for Traeger as well as yourself. So you guys get these bikes started up and take off heading headlong into a uh, robot army. So that's happening. Um, I am going to have Carla and Traeger roll plus cool. Um, to... Trigger! Yes, I don't have to roll! Trigger! Yay! He Hello. lives! Welcome, Ooh. we're in a robot apocalypse. How are you? Uh -huh. oh, I love robot apocalypse. <laughs> yes, you, you are, guys you are have... driving not even, a motorbike. I'm not even memeing. Oh, nice. Like, this is actually a thing that's happening right yes, now. Yes, so right. Uh, cool. you all have uh, jumped into a separate timeline and based on your roles, found yourselves in the middle of a robot apocalypse with a different version of Dr. Farah Masterson who is currently following you on her own motorbike. Um, and you are driving one and you are attempting to clear a path through right. a, a small robot army that is trying to you know, destroy the entire world, that's fine, um, to clear a path for her to get back to her lab so you can try to help her end this. She has conscripted you now into her robot war. So you're driving a great motorcycle, and Verulo is riding with you. Um, so <laughs> he has a gun. <laughs> you gave him a gun. You, oh, yes. that's right, that's right. Okay, so uh, what do I roll? Roll plus cool. Alright. You're yeah. uh, driving we under, very are, fast. Are, are we under fire? Or in a uh, desperate situation? Uh, yeah, I would say this is definitely doing something under fire. Excellent. So then I uh, I use my... I forget what the ability is called and they're so cool named that I want to look it up real quick. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> battle hardened. Uh, I can roll hard instead of cool. So. Alright. Oh, my yeah, head. I still have to roll cool, and I have no chill. Hey! Mm. <gasps> All right. There it is. <laughs> Wait, you, okay. you have one failure, by the way. Take an XP from before. Uh -oh. wasn't me. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, yeah. You have a failure. It was my fault. I'm good. Okay. It's the seven. Okay. 
Uh, great. So Traeger with a 13, you are driving this bike like it's your fucking job. Uh, <laughs> smooth and weaving in and out. Um, Verulo sort of hanging on tight. Um, Carla <laughs> is doing okay. Um, I, there is a moment, I think, where you are sort of approaching this just wall of metal men that is marching on this city, mm -hmm. and uh, a shot goes off very close to you, and I think you flinch just for a moment. Um, you don't fall, uh, but I think you turn a little too hard. Um, Maggie, I'm going to have you also roll to do something under fire to hold on. Uh, when you do As something under fire, stand over, watch your beta trap. I can roll weird instead of cool. <laughs> right? Yes. Use your brain That's powers. Bullshit. <laughs> Good. Uh, that is called uh, spooky intense. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right, so then 11, yeah, that's a full success. So I think, Carla, you flinch a little bit and turn a little bit hard. Maggie, I think you feel yourself sliding just a little bit, but with the uh, arm that is not holding the large gun that Carla gave you, you sort of hold tight and sort of focus yourself in to keep yourself from panicking and also flying off a motorbike. Um, but you hang on, Carla. You right yourself and follow Traeger and Verulo. You are now approaching... Sorry, the last time I did this, there may have been playlists involved. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are approaching this large group of metal soldiers. What do you do? Fire? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a shot? Yeah! Okay, uh, roll to go aggro on someone. Um, that is plus that is hard. Going aggro? That's not one of my things. Hard? Yes. Yeah. Let's get hard. Get hard. Real hard. Okay, That's that a is a six. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Traeger and Verulo. Um, we're mostly trying to clear a path, right? Yeah, essentially mm -hmm. you want to clear a path from where you are right now. There is this mm -hmm. uh, sort of large group of these robot soldiers, essentially, that are coming towards you. And past them is the building where you know Dr. Masterson's lab is in your timeline. And apparently also this one, and she wants to get to there. Um, so you're going to clear a path for her Okay. through these um, guys. <laughs> I think uh, we're going to... I mean, is there stuff around, like, uh, you know, an abandoned truck or tipped over things or part of a building or, or anything to, terrain-wise to work with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's there's a lot of debris. There's a lot of sort of half-destroyed buildings and probably some overturned cars and things like that. Yeah, there's there's lots of stuff around. All right, so uh, <laughs> me and Verulo are going to head towards, like, a, a truck, like a, a, an abandoned truck that's kind of been tipped over and... and crushed and okay. we're going to kind of i'm going to kind of tabletop the bike and we'll ride along the the side of the truck for a second and then fling the bike out behind us and just fly through the the crowd sort of sideways as far as we can and then try to snap the bike back around and then maybe elbow one or two as we punch through the rest of the crowd Stunt. okay <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> fine i you know it's, yeah, we live very uh, close together in, in the bunker city, so... <laughs> wonderful. I am gonna call... I think I'm gonna call that going aggro on okay. someone. Um, it's super sick, uh, so... <laughs> you go ahead and roll plus hard. Verulo, I'm gonna have you roll plus cool to do something <laughs> under fire to... Hold I will on. go ahead Unless there is something else you want to do. Hold. I can use okay. my hold for Verlo after we banged. We never did anything with it. Uh, right. To Because I, I held on so well after, you know, I'm keeping my cool. Maybe that's inspiring. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. All right. All so right. now you roll plus cool, you'll get a, a plus one. Thanks to how okay. cool Maggie is, Verulo. My hero. And Sweet. Woohoo! 
Nice. Quest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so simultaneously, these things <laughs> happen. Um, as uh, Traeger and Barulo out front, um, you do exactly what you set out to do with a 10 um, using. Maybe for the first time, I don't know. Traeger can find a way to use literally anything as a weapon, it seems. <laughs> um, so using the bike you have uh, to skid across the side of this truck, almost laying the bike out um, and just smashing into this front line, um, mowing down several of these rows and then riding yourself uh, to continue on. It's super slick. Um, Verulo, you rolled an... Eight. eight. Um, let's see. You flinch, hesitate, or stall. Okay. Um, so Sounds as, like me. as this is happening, Verulo from the back of this bike, just as Traeger writes it, you hear a shot ring out from behind you. As Maggie has taken a shot uh, toward this front line as her and Carla are approaching behind you, um, which. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Uh, so you hear this shot ring out, and then you feel this searing pain in the side of your leg as the bullet grazes you. Um, because Maggie, in a moment of fear, I think uh, probably closed her eyes while taking the shot. And so you feel a bullet graze your leg as it goes sort of flying towards you as the back of the bike. <laughs> Then writes itself Maggie. again. Maggie's so uh, I'm gonna gone. have you take uh, one harm from that. It's oh, just no. a flesh wound. No. <laughs> just me a fresh wound. Because, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because of the hold she spent to help you keep your cool, uh, it's just a flesh wound. So you're gonna take one harm. So the first tick of your harm clock up to 3 p.m. But you're gonna need to stitch that up. Uh, once you <laughs> are <laughs> done. Remember, remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Book of grudges. <laughs> the question is, you know, like, there's a lot of bullets flying around. It might not have been. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know that you know that it was Maggie. Verula. But everyone else that's moment. firing guns is a trained soldier on the battlefield. So. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Verulo in this hit. moment, uh, kind of, if if I can gauge his emotional range during this entire thing, is uh, as Traeger is doing his cool, sick Tony Hawk stunts, is 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 something along the lines of, ah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god. Rob is like, what the fuck, LB? <laughs> Shit, dude, we're pointing at the ground and then you shot him and it's just fucking perfect. Sorry. <laughs> it's the one thing I can't roll plus three, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> if this was, if this was fate, this. if this was fate, I would spin a fate point to be like Rob getting his inspiration by looking back and seeing how cool Maggie is with the gun, looks back and goes, yeah, I can do this. I'm inspired as she pulls the trigger and puts one through his leg. <laughs> That's what I'd spend my fate points on. That is exactly what happens. And Traeger, I think you hear Verulo sort of cry out in pain <gasps> from behind you. Um, and Maggie, oh you know what you did. Uh, <laughs> let us continue on. So Traeger and Verulo, you have flattened several of these robot soldiers. Carla and Maggie, um, you are coming up on the front line there is now sort of a gap but there's still several uh rows of these robot soldiers continuing to go back so carla and maggie what would you like to do next okay so we still have a couple rows of soldiers of mm -hmm. robo soldiers before we get where we need to go mm -hmm. yeah but there is now a large gap okay has traeger traeger has given us this gap Yes, so essentially in front of you, you just saw Traeger and Verulo's bike almost uh, kind of lay out sideways and skid through several of these rows, knocking them over and away, and then right themselves, and so they are about to be right up on another kind of row of these soldiers. But there is a row where several of them have just been completely knocked to shit. Um, 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 he's, he's paving the road, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow the road. We're gonna, we're gonna follow through. Okay, um... Uh, um 
Go, I was gonna say that uh, Maggie holds like immediately. She's just like, Fuck, no, and she moves, <laughs> moves the gun so it's on her back, uh, and she's going to uh, see if she can get her followers. I don't know how quickly they move or like how they work, but if they can like kind of leave a like make a since there is that gap, hold the the line of the gap so they can't close in. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, Carla, I'm going to have you roll to do something under fire. Um, oh, yeah, not again. Plus cool. <laughs> okay. so you're doing a great job driving, and then Maggie, I'm going to have you roll plus... <sighs> yeah, we'll do weird. I was also going to say do something under fire, but they're ghosts. Oh, God. I, uh, you if can I roll plus weird to fire, connect to the psychic mail. still roll plus weird. So. Oh, there you go. Oh, just, I, I think just... I just have to say roll to you, and it's just roll weird. <laughs> <laughs> Except for go aggro. That's pretty much it. Oh my god! Woo! Okay. Ah! Oh, god! Excellent. Um, so Carla with a 10 That's sort of so expertly. Hot. It's a little impressive, Maggie, as she sort of, uh, after her one flinch, sort of rides this bike and has a good grip on it and very smoothly sort of guides you behind Traeger and Brulo following. And as you pass through the gap, Maggie rolled a 9. Um, so as you pass through the gap, I think some of your uh, followers sort of pop up, you can see them out of your peripheral vision, and start to line the edges of this gap, sort of holding together. Um, it's not going to last very long, but they've got it, I think, long enough for Dr. Masterson, who is uh, a few yards behind you, sort of sees this happening and guns it, um, and is sort of coming up through this gap so they can keep the way open for her. Uh, Traeger and Barulo out front. What do you want to do? Cry. <laughs> Make another um, entry in your burn book. Um, All right, come on now. <laughs> so, if uh, there's there's like, is there enough rows? Like like, is it four rows or eight rows or how many rows is, are in front of us? I guess is the. Uh, let's see if you guys, you probably made it through four rows just now. So you've got si about six more, six uh, more rows okay. in the, uh, in the phalanx. Jeez. All right. Um. Oh my God. Uh, and I'm driving. Mm-hmm. Question. Does one need sure. two hands to drive a motorcycle? Oh, I mean, after you're done with the clutch, you can use your other hand, right? Right. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, then definitely. Yeah, he pulls a sidearm. <laughs> just, just start shooting and and he, you know riding. Anybody who, who's not down, he'll skid the bike sideways on, and try to if nothing else. I mean, if, if it's desperate, we'll just start spinning a circle to kind of open up a, an area and then punch through the last couple rows. Try okay. it Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I'm go ahead and uh, roll to go aggro on someone. Verulo? I'm along for the ride. I have no... Oh, God. Um... I would grip Traeger tighter. <laughs> I would have you oh, roll oh, to my, my. do something under fire. You are in for the ride of your life on a bike with Traeger. That's, uh... <clears throat> uh, that is plus cool. Yeah, I was trying to see if one of my angel moves informed that. But no, I think it's just when you're doing something not fighting. Oh, it's carrying, not fighting. Never mind. Okay. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Indeed. Cool. Roll that cool. Cool, 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 cool. Not cool. We are not cool. Okay. That's a fix. Uh, Make sure you guys are marking XP for your failures. Oh, I am um, taking note. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a definitely failure. Uh, so, yeah, Traeger with an 11, um, you, I think, sort of open fire on this row in front of you. Um, and as close as you are, your bullet's making a dent, <laughs> as it mm. were. 
um, in these metal soldiers, and uh, the couple that are in front of you sort of fall to the ground um, as, again, you sort of knock the uh, the tail end of the bike sideways and skid, uh, doing a full sort of 180, taking out with the, the end of the bike some more of these uh, robot soldiers. There's a couple of rows left in front of you, um, and as this happens, as the tail end of the bike sort of spins around, and you... Varulo, feel your grip on Traeger loosen, and as the tail end of the bike swings around in the final 180, you are flung from the bike uh, not too far, but uh, into a couple of these other metal soldiers as you sort of roll across the ground. Um, I'm going to have you take another harm as Traeger is speeding off into the final two rows that are between you, um, Dr. Masterson, close behind, as well as Carla and Maggie. You see this happen in front of you as the bike spins around. All of a sudden, Verulo is no longer on it, and you can see him sort of rolling uh, across the ground, taking out a couple of these metal soldiers at the legs, um, but definitely uh, taking some damage to himself as well. Maggie, can you give us some oh. cover here? All right, uh, I have to speed over. We're gonna try to try to try to try to grab a Verulo. Uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, there is. Oh my gosh, there's a move for this to board a moving vehicle. <laughs> <Is Okay. it? laughs> there's, there's like road war moves, and I love these. These are very good. Uh, let's see. Oh, so Verulo, uh, Verulo, uh, you sort of look up as you stop skidding across the ground you look up um, and you see Carla and Maggie sort of turning and just tearing straight toward you on this bike um they're trying to kill me <laughs> I jump <laughs> timelines <laughs> so you guys how Carla and Maggie how do you want to try to get him on this bike okay we only need one hand right okay for extra insurance, uh, can we say we get him on the left, and that's where my glove's at? Because okay. if, if he fucks up this move, then maybe I can help him out a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna try to grab him with the gloved hand. Yes. Maggie? Uh, I'll try and grab him too. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna have, have- We don't have to stop, is what you're saying? No, you don't have to stop. Yeah, we're gonna keep on going. It will be significantly easier if you stop. Uh, but you don't have to my, stop. My followers can form a wall for a short period of time, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, if we don't stop, it'd look really cool, but I don't want to <laughs> anymore. But if we <laughs> stop, you guys. Then, we're gonna, then, we, then we are much yeah. more likely to get stomped on by giant robo-warriors. Yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll have my... When she skids, I'll have the... My... My companions kind of put up a wall around us so we can pop them on and then skid off. Okay. All right. If I'm gonna there's have... enough time, Maggie will just, Maggie will have him sit on the bike facing uh, Carla and then she'll sit on his lap facing back. Cause that okay. is a two seater, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just be like, yeah. Okay. Uh, so then, Carla, I'm gonna have you one more time roll uh, to do something under fire as you come uh, <sighs> skidding up to Verulo, and you are gonna come to a full stop. Yes. Okay. Are, are we coming to a full stop? Okay. It's more okay. like a pause, but yeah. <laughs> a rolling stop. A rolling <laughs> stop. Yes. Front okay. back wheel off the ground. Front wheel stop. <laughs> okay. Uh... Does Maggie want to help me somehow? I I got can, lucky on that roll last time. I I um I can, but I have to like, do the wall thing, so I don't know if I can do. Never both. mind. We're just gonna make this happen. Okay. Yay! Nine. Nine. <laughs> uh, nine. On a seven to nine, you <sighs> flinch, hesitate, or stall. 
Um, so oh, I'm gonna say you stall literally as you uh, bring this bike to a very quick halt, probably quicker than it is meant to. Um, you hear this sort of grinding sound in the uh, front engine somewhere, but as you uh, slow down very, very quickly and uh, roll up to where Verulo is lying on the ground, um, Maggie, as this happens, could you roll plus weird for me? Eight. All right, that's an eight. All right, so again, yeah, yours, more of your followers sort of swarm around you, sort of forming this barrier. Um, once again, it is not going to last very long, but it is yeah. long enough for the two of you to pull Verulo onto the back of this bike. Um, and it is, uh, Carla, it's making a sound that you don't think it is supposed to be making uh, with the three of you on it and uh, the engine having stalled just a bit as you came to this quick stop. Uh, but you're almost there. And Traeger, you are out in front. Two more rolls of, rows of these soldiers between you and the building you are trying to get to. What do you all want to do next? Can I can I try to not flood the engine, but like give it a couple revs to try to get it unstalled? Sure. Uh, roll to fix bike. <laughs> you know what that <laughs> would, would that be? be sharp. Sure. Or... Why not? Okay. Sure. Oh, I have a plus in sharp now. Hey! Oh, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Oh, dear lord. <gasps> that's a 10! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, uh, that's a full success. So I think in this moment, um, it's in this moment of uh, pressure and adrenaline, these memories all of a sudden of the last time you rode a motorbike come flooding back. Um, and while this one's different, it's not that different. Um, and so you are able to uh, skillfully sort of get the engine back up and running again. It's still making a little bit of a grinding noise, but it will probably last long enough to get you where you need to go. Um, so the three of you take off. Um, Dr. Masterson now coming up very close behind you, sort of following in your wake. Um, and the these two bikes um, sort of catching up with Traeger, who is now up against the final lines of these soldiers. Um, at the beginning of the session, I didn't roll for my, uh, 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 what's it called? Bone feel for my oh, yes. um, savvy head thing. Can I roll for that? Yeah, sure. Because that might Let's be that. useful right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay. Seven to nine. Um, hold one. You or the MC can spend it, and I'd be there with the right tools and the right knowledge. So okay. either one of us can spend that hold. All right, so you have one. Yep. Currently, great. Um, and with that, uh, yeah, realizing I lost Verulo in the last stunt, I will... Um, we got him! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see, see that. Um, I guess I, I try to ride the bike into that last two rows and then I'll I'll stop there and just double gun it, you know, this way and this way and just start, you know, just let them Fire. have it left, left and right. And, awesome. And yeah, roll let, let to, them blow past. Yeah, roll to uh, go aggro on someone. So roll plus hard. Um, so yeah, the three of you, or I guess the four of you with the doctor can see uh, a Traeger up front sort of smashing this bike into these final two rows, coming to a full stop and then guns out to either side firing with abandon with a full 10, so a full success um, as he just mows down these final couple of lines there are still a lot of these soldiers around you but the path is clear as he waves you through um, you make it past 
uh, the final lines of these soldiers, uh, Traeger, as two bikes uh, sort of go zooming past you and pulling up to this tall building um, where you know Dr. Masterson's lab is uh, located somewhere. And you can follow close behind. You did it! <laughs> you solved my robot puzzle. Um, uh, so you have made it through uh, with Dr. Masterson, and I think she sort of skids to a stop on her bike. And uh, GB, since you were here before, this version of Dr. Masterson um, is a little older, a little more battle-hardened. Um, her hair has gone totally gray. It's pulled back in this like tight bun, and she is wearing sort of full-issued uh, body armor and carrying this large rifle sort of slung across her back um, and so she skillfully um, sort of skids to <laughs> a stop. I figured Traeger would uh, would get a you kick like out of her. that. You don't and, know why, but you kind of like her. And she uh, hops off the bike and is waving uh, the four of you on into the building and saying, come on, we don't have all day. And uh, sort of runs into the building, knocks the door open so the four of you can follow her inside, shuts it behind you, and pulls down this large sort of bar across the door. Rilla, you're bleeding. <sighs> yes, I felt that. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I haven't shot in a long time. I haven't needed to. She'll, uh, she'll get down and try and patch it up. <laughs> Here, I've got something in my kit. <laughs> Poke. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Um, nice driving out there, Soja. Yeah, I kind of dig these things. <clears throat> You're gonna have to teach me that sometime. Although <laughs> I might need supplies. I feel like it was a little bit easier last time. But yes. <laughs> Traeger gets it and chuckles. <laughs> Uh, so, so he's, he's looking out, checking robots, and he's got, you know, weapon readied, but just standing by for you to be all right, Doc, to Ferulo. Yes, I'll be fine. I don't think it was all that deep, and uh, what's a few metal men... I'm, I'm going to sit down. I think I've... <laughs> He'll just go in the corner and <laughs> handle it himself. Um, and Maggie, you want to try to help patch him up a little bit? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, then I'll ha I'll have you, Maggie, roll to help um, because to Verlo patch yourself up uh, quickly and under pressure, uh, it's going to require a roll. So um, Maggie, you'll roll plus your uh, history with Verlo. Cool. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, uh, I I have uh, seeing souls, and since I, since I have already seen his soul, I get to roll plus weird. <laughs> okay, of course you do. <laughs> I, I know. Know. I told you. <laughs> um, oh, it's wonderful. All right, that's a twelve. Y'all are just rolling bonkers today, all over the place. All right, uh, so you, uh, Verulo, you can take a plus two to your roll, because I am going to have you do something under fire to do this quickly and not mm -hmm. uh, injure yourself in the process. Jeez. Okay, that's seven. a seven. Is that with the plus two? Sure is. Goodness, okay. Uh, My so, cool is plus um, one and then the plus three, or the plus two okay. from Maggie, yeah. That's okay. Uh, so on a seven to nine, you flinch, hesitate, or stall. Um, so yeah, I you have a lot of practice stitching people up. Um, I don't know how much practice you have stitching yourself up none. necessarily. <laughs> um, none. All right, so this is an incredibly stressful situation. Um, you do manage to at least sort of close up this wound that is on your leg from the bullet grazing you, um, so you, you can heal one of your harm. Um, the other one is going to hang around for now. Maybe and does as feel really bad. <laughs> and I used I used the correct side of the clock this time. Yay! Yay. We're all we all we high. all learned something today. <laughs> Thanks, apocalypse <laughs> world. All right, and as uh, as Maggie is helping to stitch Verulo up, uh, and Traeger and Carlos sort of watching out and waiting 
for uh, this Dr. Masterson's next move. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick break while we are at a story break um, for a couple of minutes so we can refresh our drinks and our snacks and ourselves. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out with us so far. We will be back in just a couple of minutes after a bio break to see what happens next. Thanks everyone.
Hello again, everybody, and we are back with drinks and snacks and all refreshed. So uh, now that we have everybody really quick, um, Rob was kind enough to write down all of our wonderful roles and everything. So we're going to highlight stats very quickly um, so you guys can uh, retroactively apply XP that you got for that because that was a lot of rolling. Uh, that's probably the most rolling we've ever done, and I want you all to get all your points for it. Um, so let's highlight stats very quickly. Um, uh, yeah, let's start with Verulo. Um, so I've got G uh, the, the Traeger and Maggie. All They're right, my friends. What am I, drop liver? No, we leveled up last time. We're friends. Shooting with you. <laughs> no. There was a time and there was a season. And mine has passed. And it's okay. I was muted. I said cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, thanks. And Traeger? You want to highlight something for Verulo? You're also muted. Also muted. <laughs> Have a go, have a go to the wall of shame. Uh, 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 no, uh, I said sharp. Sharp. All right. That's me. So that gives me. Uh, I got an experience. Oh wait, Good I just job. used sharp for something, didn't I? No, I did cool. No, no I got two experience then. Cool. Tight. Yeah. Great. Did you right, fail? So that's me. And I failed earlier, so that was. I already marked the failure. That okay, one was great. easy to remember because I fell a lot. You did fall a lot. All right, uh, Maggie. A uh, trigger. Um, weird, obviously. <laughs> uh, Maggie levels up. Big W's. Oh yeah, I know. I think you'd be track. She. Oh, I was gonna uh, say you rolled weird <laughs> at least five times. So. Yeah, I have uh, six. Oh okay. Yeah, I, I might have missed one. Oh, because everybody had a weird roll at the beginning, so yeah, six. Okay, and I'm gonna highlight your hard. She gets another. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. She did a hard earlier. <laughs> For the gunshot. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, thanks. So while uh, Maggie levels up three times, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Traeger, a level and has... a half from that encounter. Traeger, who has the uh, the highest history on your sheet? My uh, my physics uh, throne buddy Verulo. <laughs> All right. I trusted you. Uh, I only I'll love highlight. Twice, guys. Sorry. I'll highlight <laughs> your uh, your. Oh, did you really? Jesus. Oh my gosh. I was at three uh, already. Right. I'll highlight your hard trigger, which means you get um two from that. Yep. Feels like it should be more three. Uh, yeah, it was the bike. The up the side, the slide, the second punch, and then the third blast. Yes, yeah, it should be three. Yeah. Plus your failure earlier. Oh, oh yeah, yes. the failure was. I did was fail failure. on your behalf, so there yeah. was that as well. All right. so and I then I'm gonna and then highlight. I'm gonna... Wonderful. And then I'm gonna highlight your cool. All right. Kala. Oh, I was wrong. Actually, it is a tie between Traeger. And Verulo. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I see. Not chop liver after all, huh? Mm -hmm. all right. At least not on my end, barely on yours, but whatever, <laughs> it's fine. I all was right, distracted. so Traeger I and <laughs> uh, Traeger and Verulo, you can highlight one of Carla's stats. Weird. Yeah, that's oh. what I was going to say that, so oh, let's do... No, 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 that's fine. Um, let's do... I have... Cool. I don't want a meta game. <laughs> I'm Listen, trying to think of what I would have done. I would have probably done sharp, to be honest. Oh, I level anyway. Oh, do you? <laughs> Nailed I it. One Wonderful. sharp roll for uh, yeah. I did the the one weird at the beginning for the the move, and then the one yeah. sharp. So I level up. Oh, I totally missed Yay! that one. Okay. All right, so we're gonna keep uh, powering on through this as we've got a little over an hour left. Um, so those of you 
that. Did anyone not level up? <laughs> I, I didn't level up. I only... You didn't. Okay. I only marked a paltry three experience. Goodness. Well, you're all welcome for the motorcycle race at the end of the world, yeah. I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but so we're going to keep on going. Um, those of you, if you want to, if you have improvements in mind that you want to go ahead and take, you can go ahead and take them and they will uh, take effect now. Or if you want to think about it, you can. But either way, we are going to get on with the show. Uh, so you all have shut yourselves in here um, with uh, with Dr. Masterson. Um, and she is uh, sort of wiping uh, sweat and dirt off her brow um, and kind of looking around at the four of you like, well, well done. Thanks. How are we compared to your uh, regular group of us's? Uh, a little younger, and somehow a little sadder looking. Hmm. But you've done very well, so I can't complain. I am hoping that they might be holed up in this building somewhere. Um, I would very much like to have their help, because I assume... <sighs> Actually, why are you here? Uh, we're here to, uh, fix the timelines. Did, did Another you happen you to be- Another you sent us to help. Oh, of course yeah, I did. did. Why wouldn't I? Did, did you happen to be working on some sort of multi-verse jumping experiment? Uh, no. I was working on, uh, artificial intelligence, but, uh, well, you can see how that's all gone. The Artificial. robots don't care much for their three laws, it turns out. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry, so, Dave, did you have a question? I have a lot of questions. I don't think they, we have time to answer them today, but... Uh, continue. What's the next play, Doc? How do we help you in this time? Well, if I can get up to my lab, which uh, shouldn't be an issue now that we are in the building, um... All of my things are there, and I think, perhaps with uh, your help, especially those of you with the, uh, uh, do you all still do the uh, the brain magic? Any point? Oh yes, that's me. <laughs> oh, and, and, and her as well. Right. So I think uh, with a bit of luck, a bit of spunk, and uh, my general genius, um, I can send out a, uh, a pulse, a signal, uh, from the, the top of the tower, as it were, and sort of fry all the robo-brains, um, but I need help amplifying it. Alright. Never done it before, but... <laughs> Never driven a motorcycle sober before either, so hey! Uh, we're doing a lot of new things today. Oh, Carla, you are always my favorite. All right, uh, follow me up the stairs. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> she is rude. Uh, <laughs> so she takes and, off. Yeah. And, and, as we're going, it, at some point, I will bound slightly ahead of her and be like, okay, you need to survive, so you shout out, I'll clear, then we'll move. Let's go, go, go. So smart. Because basically, As if always, the door's open and she gets blasted, then don't. <laughs> oh, yes. are, she, there, um, are there those explosives? Oh, like there were on our timeline. Oh, uh, well, I had placed some around, but by the looks of the uh, stairwells and things, it, they've probably already gone off, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, keep an eye out nonetheless, I suppose. <laughs> Traeger Smart glances ideas. at Verulo like, come on, buddy, <laughs> sharp eyes. Because <laughs> you saw him, I didn't. I would have blown up. So, back Yeah, and so Verulo will be cautiously keeping an eye out as best he can. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, anybody who wants to can Same. roll plus sharp. If you have something that lets you roll something else, this qualifies as reading a sitch or reading a charged situation. I'm not gonna roll, okay? <laughs> Dude, my rolls are so fucking bad. Oh my god. Uh, that's a nine. Yeah, I don't want to stop any of you from rolling if you want to. Alright, no, no, no. so a nine is a partial success and eleven is a full success. Yeah, I think that's I think uh, 
between the two of you, you even out to a 10, uh, which is a full success. So the two of you keeping an eye out um, once or twice, uh, the Verulo and uh, Carla, I think you sort of stop the group as you see uh, maybe a tripwire stretched across. Um, but you are able to sort of quickly get rid of them. No harm done as you make your way up the uh, flights and flights of stairs to the top of this building. Um, and I think as you're doing this, sort of Dr. Masterson is sort of kind of like eyeing all of you and looking you over, um, almost as if she's studying you a little bit. And I think every once in a while, she kind of makes an offhand comment um, about how you are uh, different than she remembers. Um, mm. But uh, you all make your way up safely to the top of the building uh, through these sliding doors that open up into a laboratory. Um, it is very different than the uh, the laboratory from your timeline, which for one was underground um, and was also full of giant test tubes and slabs and human remains and things. Um, this is a lot more computer tech. Um, these large uh, flat screens on the walls, um, touchpads and keyboards and lots of sort of half-built um, inventions and things and exposed wires all around, um, but laid out the same um, with the two staircases in the back going up into a sort of booth covered in windows. Um, and as you open the door, I think you hear a shout from the other side, um, a deep voice that sounds uh, vaguely familiar because it sounds a lot like Sergeant Traeger. Um, and as these doors open, you see uh, four people um, in this lab sort of hold up as if they were waiting for intruders and Traeger. You see yourself pointing a gun at you. Um, a little bit of a different version of yourself though. I think the four of you all notice this. Um, you all look relatively the same. Um, I think it's most noticeable on Traeger, um, but different parts of you have been replaced. Um, the version of Traeger has this uh, metal arm on one side that is kind of shining um, out of one of his sleeves, which has been ripped off because it is bigger than his other arm. Um, I think Carla has a sort of red eye on uh, one side that sort of glows as she surveys you. Um, and general uh, upgrade. So it is you. Um, it is older versions of you. You all look a little bit worn, a little battle hardened. Um, and you look at yourselves. We're you. This is very obvious, but we are good you who are here to remerge the timeline so that we are all back together again. Okay? Uh I think they're all love sort of the eye, darling. I love the eye. I think other Carla looks at the rest of her group and says, "Well, I believe them." <laughs> <laughs> and Traeger had, uh, you know, uh, uh, mom armed the doc behind him, and you know, he's mm -hmm. gun out. <laughs> and she is like looking over your shoulder, and she's like, ah, "It's fine. It's fine. It's them." Uh, and she sort of comes around, she says, it's uh, me, hello. Right, right. We, mm, there are lots of us running around, god damn it. <laughs> These could be not them. Uh, well, we've all got to die sometime, I guess might as well be in the robot apocalypse. Uh, where have the four of you been? <laughs> and she's sort of looking, um, and they are sort of talking amongst themselves a little bit, um, and they are uh, telling her that they sort of, they came here when they were all separated looking for her and sort of dug in, assuming that she would make her way back at some point, um, as she has done now. And I think she's standing in between the two groups going, well, perfect. Uh, great. Uh, those of you with the uh, mind magic, follow me, please. Uh, the other four of you, I don't know, watch the door, uh, be nice to each other, please don't, uh, kill anyone else today. Come on, ladies! <laughs> she starts walking up the stairs. I would love to talk to other me on the way up. <laughs> okay. Maggie glances at other Maggie and just gives her a nod. <laughs> I think and she, uh, so when did she the happen? returns mm. your nod. <laughs> oh, just, um, a while ago, you know, it helps me, um, I can actually see into people's minds a bit better. <gasps> can I get 
picked one. I don't see why not. All right, we'll talk to the doctor later. I, I mean, do you, you don't even need your glove anymore. This is fantastic. No, oh, I love traveling. You learn so many new things. It's been wonderful, really. And you kind of continue this uh, as you go off the stairs. Maggie, I think other Maggie sort of uh, returns your nod, um, but doesn't doesn't really say anything. Um, although I think you can also see this this kind of look of um, uh, irritation, maybe a little bit, as the Carla's immediately friends um, walk up uh-huh. the stairs. <laughs> in front of you and she just kind of rolls her eyes um and Mm -hmm. i think tucks her uh she tucks her hair on the side sort of back behind one ear and you can see where her actually her whole outer ear and this part of her face has been replaced um with this sort of metal Mm -hmm. uh maggie doesn't like other versions of maggie so (laughs) she's not gonna say much she's gonna note that um but I think if it makes any difference in her head, she's uh, thinking about her her deity and uh, how she wants him to herself. And with all these other Maggies around, there's going to be a problem with that. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that is good to know. Um, So, yeah, the uh, four of you follow Dr. Masterson up the stairs. Um, Traeger and Verulo left at the bottom of the stairs with uh, other... Traeger and Verulo. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so as you make your way up the uh, two Carlas and the two Maggie, she sort of circles you around this large piece of equipment um, in the center of the room, which is giving off this humming sound. Um, and it is a large sort of spire that is going up into the ceiling. Um, the ceiling of this uh, tower is glass. Um, and you can see it sort of protruding through like a needle um, up and out into the dark, cloudy sky um, above. And so she sort of instructs you to, uh, you know, just, I don't know, forge a connection with each other, however it is you like. Um, But I am going to start this signal and I need the four of you to use whatever this is uh, that you do to amplify it, to make it larger and louder and dangerous. Which I think is sort of what you're all good at, right? Hmm. Maggie's going to lean over to other Maggie for just a moment. Does she have any idea what we're about and what we do? I think uh, she starts to, like, snicker a little bit, and then kind of writes herself and just looks at you and is like, no one usually does. Fair enough. She offers her hand. (laughs) All right, she will uh, take your hand, and uh, Carla, the other Maggie, sort of reaches across toward you with her other hand. Sure. And you all form a circle, a wonderful circle of uh, power, and the doctor fires up this uh, needle, this tower, as it were. Um, I'm going to have the two of you roll plus weird. Cool. To open your she, minds. Yeah. As she does it, Maggie's just gonna say, This can't reverberate back on, into our own minds, can't, and then she turns it on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. Woot woot! Uh, right. It can't with, it definitely can't with those rolls at the 10 and the 14. Um, and so between the Maggies and the Carlas, um, from down the stairs and Traeger and Verulo, you can see kind of up into this booth, it's got kind of a glass viewing window, you can see, um, this happening, um, I mean, Verulo, it probably looks like some sort of witchcraft is happening up there for sure, um, but, uh, you can almost feel- And you tapped that feel... dude, just saying. Mm-hmm. You did. Choices were made. <laughs> it's witchcraft. Um, so you, I think, as the uh, the signal fires up, and uh, the four of you at the top sort of open your minds and focus this energy into this tower. Um, you can feel this even at the bottom of the stairs, Traeger and Rulo. This like pulse 
of energy that sort of hits you in the chest and knocks the wind out of you a little bit um, as the needle almost starts to sort of glow and this pulse kind of goes up and up and up it and you can see again sort of electricity sparking off of it and it turns this shade of bright green um, Mm. as the energy sort of fills it up and then all at once there is this huge booming sound and again this wave of energy i think uh verulo and traeger almost knocking you off your feet um and from outside the building i think even this far up you can hear sort of this this huge sound of just metal on metal uh grinding and clattering as if a large explosion has happened outside and then As quickly as it came, Maggie and Carla, I think you can feel that last bit of energy sort of leave you. And you take a breath and the glow sort of fades and it is quiet. Probably for the first time for you guys in a long time. Mm -hmm. There's just quiet. Have we been able to do that with these machines this whole time? Fuck, why haven't we been doing that? Well, it's, it's I think a, downstairs at the exact same math. time, <laughs> Varillo goes, have they been able to do this at those machines this entire time? <laughs> Why haven't we just been doing that? The, the two Traegers are just staring at each other like, we may have to kill each other. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's cool, dude. Two dogs dude. in a cave, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, that that At some point, we may just have to kill each other, you know, and we're both thinking the exact thing. <laughs> Bros being bros. <laughs> dudes being gun bros. Gun bros being gun guys bros. Being bros. Guys, <laughs> guys being dudes. Guys Better than this. Um, Just guys being dudes. Yeah, dudes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you all sort of let out a breath, and I think Dr. Master Sensor runs to runs down the stairs and towards one of the walls um, and sort of opens up this large metal shutter uh, behind of which is a window, and she's looking out, and she's like, Well, I guess that's that then. Thank you, all of you. Uh, uh, that's uh, one apocalypse down for you, I guess. Honey, well done, good still. job. And no one uh, died. Wonderful. Still, well, I still, I still see me and the other men. Okay, so this isn't the one. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, if if I could grab one of those. Um, those little eye things to go, I will. If not, um, we should probably get going. I'm sure I have some spares lying around. Um, and she <laughs> starts going, going, goes up, she so starts going through one. a drawer. And then maybe I can get another one of the U's to put it into me. It, it, it'll be really fun. I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, and she is like rifling through a drawer and there's this like clanking of metal and everything. What, um, and so where is it that you all are actually trying to go? We're Do trying you, to find you know? the incident. We're, we are trying to find the timeline where uh, the apotheosis uh, versions of us have come from. Right, that does make the most sense. Uh, ah! A, a red or blue, darling? Oh, I don't want to steal the other me's style, so we'll go with blue. Blue would be wonderful. All right, she hands you a robot eye. Yes. That has a blue lens on the front. I, I'm, she has eyes in drawers. I don't know. Why wouldn't she? Um, <laughs> you don't? And, <laughs> uh, so, and she sort of looks at you and says... Huh. Uh, do you all have those uh, those those things, the uh, oh, the yeah. implants, the neck things? Mm-hmm. I might be able to help. It's sort of the least I can do. Uh, you fixed my whole apocalypse in in one afternoon. Um, which one of you has the highest pain tolerance? Probably me. Trigger. Maybe. And I point, I point at Maggie. I have a well, tendency to rage up and punch things when I get hurt. Oh, that's true. Let's go with Maggie. Definitely Maggie, then. Uh, can I see your uh, bit? She offers her neck. Right. I think she's looking at it. She says, mm. 
that's what I thought. Uh, not too different from what we're working with here. Uh, come here, come here. I think she um, pulls you over to one of these. It's It looks half finished. Um, so you're not entirely sure what it is, but sort of contraptions uh, sitting on one of the table. And she says, I think I might be able to help find you. Bad you, worst you. Oh, that's not going to work. She's dead. Oh, yes, we we kind of killed one of them. Are you sure? Well, we have killed her at one point. I don't know if... Although it might help because it'll... it'll uh, if we find the moment where they split, then she would still be alive. She's not... I don't know how time works. It might still work. Well, let's just try it. <laughs> sure! It seems like you're picking it up rather well. Uh, Alright. Uh, hold still and uh, don't bite your tongue. And she pulls up, uh, before anyone can really react, a couple of wires from this thing and connects them uh, open ends directly to Maggie, the uh, implant in your neck. Uh, I'm going to have you roll. Uh, plus... Cool. This would this would be uh, under fire. Cool. So plus weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> twelve. All right. Uh, with a twelve, yeah, you're fine. So you feel, I think, this jolt of energy sort of course through your neck and uh, down your body, and it hurts, but you grit your teeth. Um, I think and focus inward and uh, shake it off and you are okay. Um, But as this is happening, there's a small sort of screen on this contraption and you can see sort of lots of uh, the other ones of you, these lines of code sort of going through and she's scrolling and scrolling and pressing buttons here and there and here and there. And then uh, the doctor's face kind of lights up and she says, I've got it. Uh, So she pulls the wires back out. and says, uh, you have those uh, uh, devices, communicators, things, right. Uh, and she is looking at the screen and she says, all right, here are the coordinates. This is the closest I can get you. Um, and so she, Traeger, I think, rattles off a set of coordinates to you, both in space and time. That's the best I've got. Uh, I hope it's fair payment for what you've done for us. None of us died. I suppose it all won't matter if we succeed. I mean, I got an eye out of it, so I feel really good about the situation. I just make sure you sterilize that first with... Oh, I'll find another herd. It'll be fine. All right. Well, good luck, Godspeed, and uh, have fun killing yourselves. Thanks, Doc. And then Trego or a look Carla's at Carla's gonna trailer. give the other Carla a big hug. All right, she hugs you back. Oh, it was so <laughs> lovely to meet you. It was you. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie's gonna go up to other Maggie and just kind of look up her, look her in the face, and just go. Have you always wanted to try it too? I think she uh, sort of squints at you for a second and then uh, she like raises an eyebrow and this grin kind of spreads across her face. It's like smirk <laughs> and she just is kind of like, I've thought about it. All right, Maggie's going to grab Maggie and kiss her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See how it goes. Uh, I don't think you have to roll anything. How does it kiss? How does it go? How does it go? I mean, we know what we, we know what you like, so it's just, it's really good. It's pretty nice. <laughs> okay. It's kind of hot. I, just pull away and just. All right. And <laughs> just walk away. Just go look at other Carla. <laughs> See, this is why I love spending time with them. They're amazing. Verulo um, will look at other Verulo, and they'll both kind of have this moment of like recognizing and just be like. Don't get any ideas, and I'll just walk <laughs> away. <laughs> Traeger, any final thoughts for yourself? Well, it, Traeger and Traeger would just do it, so it would be no biggie, because, again, from where they're from, 
you know, <laughs> it's not a thing. But sure. Yeah. But what we we do go, yeah, that is kind of hot. But uh, uh, but <laughs> we look at each other and we just give them the, each other the keep them alive kind of sup, bro. You know, and then yeah, bail. <laughs> All right, and the four of you set with your new set of coordinates. Say goodbye to yourselves and the other Dr. Masterson. And once again, step through time and space to a parallel timeline. So I'm going to have everybody, as you leave, roll plus weird for one last jump. Maybe this jump will be the jump home. <laughs> awesome. I have been waiting for someone to make a goddamn Quantum Leap reference and, and do like the penultimate episode? Come on. <laughs> I quantum right. left right out of the timeline. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, no. You can experience it. You, you do to get to five. Yeah, mark that XP. Up. All right, so I've got a 13, a 10. Those are full successes. An 8 for Traeger and a fail for Rulo with a 5. Um, so, oh, Rulo's having a day. Quick it's question. Been a uh, day. In, in our improvements, there's a, there's a line, and then there's more improvements below it. When do we get to that second box? Or After can we five. always uh, after now, five? Okay. essentially. Yeah, it's after okay. five improvements, then you can take those oh, advanced shit. improvements. Okay. Um, so I don't forget I about the numbers. <laughs> I thought so too. Yeah. Hell, okay. No, it's after five, yes. So if you guys want to be taking those advanced improvements, especially now, we've got, you know, like one, <laughs> one yeah. left. So yeah, jump on those. You guys can definitely take, oh, take some of those if you want. I'm like, okay, improved cool. That doesn't help me with anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys can take from those uh, those advanced ones. There's some pretty cool. wild stuff in there. So yeah, make sure you look over those. Um, but cool. as the uh, four of you step through another hole in space and time, uh, you see a familiar light and hear a familiar popping sound. And you uh, make it through landing in another timeline. Um, Verulo, you sort of mm -hmm. land very hard on your back um, as you do so, your head sort of pounding um, in this ringing in your ears. Um, the rest of you make it through okay. Verulo, you're all right, but it feels bad. Verulo's just gonna lay on the ground for a second. <laughs> Are you all right, darling? Well, there's no bullets flying, so I think I'm fine. That yeah, that wasn't a knock going. at you. That was just a. Mm. Oh God! What's the apocalypse now? Come on, Doc. Don't worry. And Trigger picks him up. <laughs> we'll be oh, out of this soon, you. and then we can go home to our own timelines or whatever we choose. I guess. <sighs> hmm. The Victorian area might suit you. Yeah, I have no intention of going home. The 60s were quite boring. Although the later 60s were quite fun. Now I'm probably staying here. I suppose I hadn't even considered what I'd do after. I mean, how do you oh return God. to the past when you know all of this happens? Well, don't you want to meet Da Vinci? Well, he's dead in my time. Not if we jump before your time. Make a vacation out of it. Maybe. Anyway, shall we? Um, what is this? Where are we? When are what we? Right. <laughs> As Verulo, you ask this question out into the maelstrom, uh, mm. and you look around, um, you find yourselves in the same complex of buildings, once again, that you left outside this tall building where Dr. Masterson's lab is. And uh, it is calm out here. It is very dark. Um, the night sky overhead um, with a few, a few stars sort of sparkling down 
at you. Um, you are still very much in the middle of a desert, um, but for the most part in this area, the buildings are intact. Um, although there are no people around, everything is sort of very quiet and calm. This is oddly serene. Hmm. My ears are still ringing, but... Hmm. Could have been a plague. What if this future didn't have an apocalypse? Do we still have the plague masks? Yet. Maybe we've gotten here early. We don't see anyone. Mm-mm. I well, suppose we, we should head is... to the 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 doctor's um, building. <laughs> he, 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 that's what he was starting to say too. So he just thumbs and turns. And All right. So going. for the for the third time in a day or so. Uh, you all make your way into this building. Uh, the door opening in front of you, you step inside. Um, and as far as you can see, everything in here in this this uh, medical research facility is intact. Um, it looks very, very similar to the first time that you entered this um, in your own timeline, except everything is not covered in sand and, uh, and bullet holes. Um, it is, for the most part, intact and fine. It's just empty. Since we think we haven't had an apocalypse here quite yet, do you think that there are all explosives rigged up still? Should we continue to look for those? Always look right. for those. <laughs> Says Falsala. Go on. Um, Go! Well, Carlin's uh, more interested in that eye she found. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Save me, boy. Oh God, there it is. Trying to see through it with her eye. Uh huh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> so I just rolled sharp, and that was a failure. So I leveled up again. Um, Yay! <laughs> now the- what a day. Wow. All right. So that is a four and a 14. So I think those even out somewhere in the middle. Um, but you all are sort of making your way. Uh, first of all, do you, do you want to go upstairs or downstairs? Uh, head towards where the lab's been. The, um, one was upstairs, recent. one was below ground. Yeah, but since this is all serene, it'll probably be upstairs rather than bunkered. Yeah hello so we'll try okay all right so you all start making your way up the stairs to the top of the building carla and verulo keeping an eye out um along the way you do not find anything of note um no trip wires rigged explosives pit traps swinging axes things like that um but you have a relatively uneventful walk jaunt up the stairs um you uh, make your way. Okay. And as we're as we're going up, Maggie's just gonna say, uh, "This Maggie is a lot stronger than I am, and I know what I'm capable of. So try to keep your whips about yourself. Try to remember why we're here, and uh, who your loyalties are to." Mm. Was that last part for ourselves or for you? I think I'll know who my loyalties are to. They've always been to the same person. All right, just checking. All right. And in Trigger's head, he see, he, the audience sees him thinking about shooting the first Maggie. And then this time he's thinking about taking the explosives in his pack and just holding on to Maggie long enough to push the button <laughs> if he needs to. <laughs> so. Okay. I can't heal that. <laughs> he didn't say anything, but just like I said, I as an yeah. audience, we go into his head and he's like, boom. 
Okay. Uh, proceed towards what we believe is the lab. All right, yeah. You all make your way up to the top of the building, and you see a familiar set of sliding doors, uh, but they are locked. Carla? Sorry, I muted. Oh, pins, 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 pins. Uh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, does anyone have any alcohol at all? Anyone? I don't know if it actually helps. It would just make me feel a little bit better. Uh, but never mind, it's fine. All right. <sighs> Nothing that I would be comfortable letting you ingest. I've still probably had worse. Moonshine? Ever heard of it? No? All right. All right. Uh, rolling the sharps there. Yep. All alcohol where we're from really isn't that filtered, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fair. Ooh, an eight. Okay, that's an eight. Um, yeah, I think you are able to uh, sort of jimmy the lock enough to get it to open. Um, I think you lose uh, a hairpin in the process. Um, <laughs> so you're down to... Um, but after a few minutes of finagling, um, you're able to essentially, I think, break it to the point where you can get it open. Um, yes. And the door uh, will swing open and you find yourselves on the... Uh, uh, the landing of this top floor with a uh, another set of these sort of sliding doors on the other end um, so you can make as a motorcycle drives by in the sky <laughs> uh, <laughs> <whee>! <laughs> uh, what? so you all can make your way over to these doors and inside um, they open with ease it is dark um, inside but again you are met by a you're met with a familiar sight um, of this lab uh, it is very very similar to the first time you were in this lab um, except everything is intact um, it is dark in here but there is a sort of green glow that is coming from one of the walls it is this wall with these large uh tubes that were on it before they are filled with some sort of kind of viscous substance and you can see as you enter the room suspended in them are uh, several human forms um, as well as on the opposite side of the room from that, where these slabs were before, where you found uh, bones and uh, sort of chunks of things, there are, uh, again, these human forms, um, and you can see them uh, shackled to this table. <sighs> I'm not going to like this, am I? <laughs> I am going to approach one of the bodies. Okay. I'm on Overwatch. All right, Maggie, what would you like to do? Uh, can I take a look at the face of this thing, mm -hmm. person? Do I recognize the face? Why am I being quiet? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you, uh, you glance down at this uh, this person that is lying there. Um, you don't recognize them. But you do recognize that they are breathing. And Duckies. they are. Oh, man. Do you have a live one? Yes. Hmm. Well, all right then. Brain scan. Okay, roll for scanning brains. Yeah. Um, I'll probably try and touch one of the instruments if she if she is unsuccessful to get information from the instrument. Okay. 13. Right. It's called a 13. Uh, what do you get on a super success? Super success? I get lots of stuff. We'll see. I would also like to stand by just in case three. this thing wakes up. Person, I don't know. Sure. Oh, I don't. I have trust issues. Sure. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? 
All right. So All right, I get three. Three questions? All right. Yeah. Well, what do you want to know? I would like to know. Um... Oh, no. I don't want Rita Sitch. Those are boring. I want mine. Um... What are this character's uh, secret pains? Secret pains? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think... Uh, so you reach down and touch this person um, and uh, uh, reach out with your uh, your mind and you form this connection with them. Um, and I think the, the mind that you find is in chaos. Um, there is sort of no uh, real timeline of memories or anything that you can sort of suss out. Um, but when you sort of uh, when you start poking around and searching for these pains, um, I think there is this one flash back to a previous memory of this person with a uh, a family, with a uh, a partner and two small children, um, and them sort of with a a suitcase in one hand and hugging their family goodbye and telling them they will be back as soon as they were gone. Okay. Um. What was their lowest moment? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I. <laughs> there is um, another flash as you are trying to kind of parse through these these memories, um, and there is another flash of them showing up with this suitcase uh, to a familiar lobby the lobby of this building on the first floor um, and sort of walking up to the desk um, there is a person sitting there and uh, sort of setting their suitcase down and having a brief conversation I think you can't hear what's being said it's kind of garbled um, and warbling um, but you see the person at the desk sort of hand a clipboard over to them um, and them signing a few papers okay and I guess what did this character intend to do? All right, uh, you kind of follow the train of this memory a little bit farther. They hand the papers back to the person behind the desk um, and an elevator on one side opens up shortly after. And uh, stepping out of the elevator, you see a sort of familiar face. Um, you see the form of Dr. Farrah Masterson, um, but different than you remember her. Um, her hair this time is brown, but streaked with gray. Um, it is a little uh, frazzled and wild, and she looks uh, aged. She looks weathered and uh, a little a little beat down um, and you can see just for a moment um, her smile this almost you can see her you see her smile um, with her mouth but her eyes are telling a much different story I think um, as she sort of waves this person into the elevator with her um, and right before your connection breaks. Um, you can kind of see her in the elevator put a hand on this person's shoulder and start to um, talk to them almost as if she is reassuring them of something. And the person nods, she presses a button in the elevator. Um, and as the elevator doors in this memory that you're watching start to close, uh, she, you see the doctor look away from the person that she is talking to and look up almost as if she is looking right at you. And just for a second, her eyes flare bright green. And the elevator doors close. And you uh, are removed from this person's mind. Carla, wait, what's wrong? I what pulled away from my boot. Master said in this time, apparently 
follows a friend of yours, Maggie. Interesting. What does that have to do with anything? This person volunteered for her experimentation. But the good doctor is apparently a follower of uh, your lord and savior, Mr. Green Eyes. All right. What does that matter? What exactly do you think she's going to be doing? Uh, I don't know, trying to get people to be a part of his following as well? Through this? Well, I don't know. Mind and manipulation? I don't know what this is. How many bodies are there? Uh, there are, in these tubes on the wall, there are four, um, and then there are four slabs as well, so eight total. Maggie's gonna lean down to one of them and say, cross it in his ear and see if that anything happens. Okay. Um, yeah, he, uh, he doesn't respond. Uh, can we I don't, see I don't. in? Uh, can we see into the tubes? Mm -hmm. Verulo would like to inspect the the four people in the tubes. Okay. Um, yeah. So you see these uh, these human forms are suspended in this um, this clear but sort of viscous liquid um, and there is sort of a green light coming up from the bottom illuminating them. Um, they don't seem to be conscious um, but they do sort of have all of these uh, tubes connecting to them at different points and they are just kind of suspended there. And I, I don't recognize them? Nope. Okay. Alright, so let's Let's talk about what we know about this particular timeline. Potentially, this is the one. And um, when I looked at this particular person, um, it appeared that the doctor could see me looking at this person. That's never happened right. before. Well, I mean, uh, my lord does have a lot of abilities that he grants onto people. If there's no apocalypse here, maybe Maybe they follow him and that's why. Maybe the world follows him and they have no apocalypse because that's... They've given themselves to him and it makes more sense. And it already happened. What, the apocalypse? Well, yeah, because they all gave no. themselves to some demon. He's not a Devil. demon. Religious He's figure. neither. No. What is he exactly? A deity. Well, the other doctor in the other time with other us said that this is the one. This is where it happens, where the timelines are split. Well, someone was manipulating something they shouldn't have been, or maybe they got too powerful, or... I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be that your dark lord, uh, your savior is the one that caused the particular apocalypse here. I mean, there is no apocalypse. Look outside. There's nothing out there. Yeah. We've There's seen no that the apocalypse takes many forms. I mean, though the world appears physically intact, these are the only people that we've come across. I guess that's right. Again, I don't know. He doesn't work in sacrifices or anything like that. At least not coins like this. And if somebody went off book, for lack of a better word, would they re would would they lose their powers? Say somebody went rogue. Uh, well. It's my understanding that the powers that Grosset gives is to people he likes. It's not like 
uh, if you stop taking your medication, you go crazy. It's more like if he gives it to you, he gives it to you, you can take it away just as easily. Mm. So then he likes what's going on here. It seems to be. Well, let's I have a crazy this. idea. Hmm. Can you talk to him? This him. Uh, the one here. I could try. Maybe it's the same one throughout. I don't know. I don't know if it's split up deity. So, dear God. Z. But, could you talk to him? I could try. I think he'd talk to me. I assume he would. All right. Um, I guess stand back. She'll open her mind. All right. Roll plus weird. Ooh. Not great, not bad. Okay. Open your worry to the world's psychic maelstrom. Okay. Seven to nine. Partial success. All right. So I think you um, you open your mind and try to reach out or call out to your lord. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, I think you get the uh, familiar sensation that you felt before when you reached out to him. You get um, the feeling of sort of warmth and heat on your face. Um, and you reach out toward wherever you think he might be. Um, I think you feel a, a presence, um, but it is it's sort of far away. Um, it, not with the same intensity that you usually do. Um, but you can feel him there, and I think just very briefly, um, you sort of hear his voice uh, almost, almost in a whisper sort of come to you and uh, ask, what is it you need? I'm not from this timeline. I'm not from this earth. I need to find myself here. The other me. Do you know where she is? I wouldn't worry, dear Maggie. You're exactly where you need to be. And I think you can kind of feel him pulling back away a little bit. Um, And as this happens uh, as the uh, the final bits of your connection with him start to break um, you get this flash of an image sort of in front of your eyes um, and you feel this sort of blast of warmth as if you've just been hit by like a gust of hot air um, and you see yourself the version of yourself uh, that Traeger definitely killed, um, or so you thought, uh, followed by three other figures, faces whom you recognize because they look like uh, different, slightly different versions of Traeger, Carla, and Verulo, making their way up the stairs of the building you are in. And then your connection with him is gone. They're here. All four of them. Here? Like... They're coming up the stairs right now. Lock the door. Oh, God. Um, uh, yeah, and Varilla will run to lock the door. Do we know what we're going to do with him once we find him? Do you really think we're going to be able to kill him? Traeger's already assembling the bomb. Okay. Does anyone know what we're supposed to be doing? We have to merge the timelines. Does anyone know how to do that? No. If, if right, it we, just says flatly. All uh, right, we need we need we need to incapacitate them in some way. And if I can get into the other you's brain, maybe I can find out. All right, Verlo, do you have any um? Tranquilizers. Uh, yes, I'm fairly stocked up. I suggest You'll going for me first, so he can't do the same. 
All right. And frankly, I sure. won't put up much of a fight. I mean. <laughs> she kind of rubs his cheek. You'll do fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to take out the other Carla so that their Maggie or their Carla doesn't do our Maggie like we're going to do their Maggie. How about we incapacitate across the board because, uh, well, <laughs> I'm it's quite smart not... and my other one is probably too, so I might have to also read the mind of pretty much all of them. So incapacitate right, here, possible. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, we'll get Verlo. no offense, we'll get him, you infiltrate his mind because he'll know the same things that the other ones do, but he'll be easier to, to get on his own. Good plan. And we'll hold the other ones off. All right, it's, it's the best plan we've got. All right. All right, so Verulo has locked the door. Traeger is assembling a bomb and a plan is being made. And as Carla, you say, it's the best plan we've got. From behind you, the four of you hear footsteps walking down the stairs up to the observation booth uh, and you see walking down behind you Dr. Farrah Masterson a version that Carla you recognize from the memories of the person on the table and she surveys you all and says well it's not the worst plan I've ever heard By all means, try your best. And her eyes flash this bright green color. Um, and around her, this almost like a breeze sort of picks up uh, and her uh, coat flaps a bit and you can see her hair uh, kind of wildly flying behind her as she comes down the stairs. And we're gonna go ahead and end ah! the session there. Things are gonna go great. Things are gonna go fine. Things are gonna be fine. Things are gonna be fine. Things are gonna be fine. We're gonna be the boss. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're fighting ourselves. We're fighting ourselves and the big boss. Oh god. Oh dear god. All right. Surrounded. Outnumbered. And in the fight. Good thing one of us knows how to use a gun. One of us knows how to use a gun, right? So surrounded. Outnumbered, outmanned, and uh, in the fight of your lives. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. If you're out there in the Twitch chat, join us next Sunday at 5 p.m. for the final episode of Apocalypse mm. When and the conclusion of this epic adventure for better or for worse thank you all for playing with me and next week we'll do it one last time and see what happens in the fight at the end of the world uh wow. one more time today we'll tell you where you can find all of us if you want to hang out with us outside of this game on sundays um i'm savvy at savvy seaworth on twitter and the other social media is the MC for this game. Um, when I'm not here, I do most of my streaming on twitch.tv slash game nights. That's game with two G's and nights with a K. Um, I do a lot of things over there. I play d and I play video games, and I run a uh, Monster of the Week game. So if you like this, you'd like that. So uh, come hang out with us and see the other evil inner workings of my mind. <laughs> Do we Ron, want to do end of game stuff? stuff? Oh, I forgot about end of game stuff. But yeah, <laughs> tell the people where they can find you and then we'll do that quickly. I didn't want to run out of time. Cool. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> you can find me over at twitch.tv slash bonus underscore stage underscore Rob, where I usually am also doing a concern or two. Um, I play a lot of video games. It's good. It usually goes well-ish. I don't know. Um, let's find out. It's a it's a hoot. Uh, I also do a D and D five E campaign on Twitch.tv slash Runaway Robots underscore. 
Uh, I am DMing a homebrew world of my creation. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, I will be doing the charity stream on Indoor Adventures, Twitch TV, uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Indoor Adventures. Uh, words are hard. Um, at 9 p.m. Eastern, LB? Thanks. <laughs> 9 p.m. Eastern. Yes. So. Cool, I'm LB Hackamup. You can find me at LB Hackamup. I play Sunday through Wednesday t tabletop RPGs. You can also find me on uh, the charity live stream on the Indoor Adventurers channel. Um, <laughs> I am playing, I am running a kids on bikes game at 6 p.m. It'll be uh, spoopy and traumatizing, and I hope some of my characters actually scream. We'll see. <laughs> Great, you all like this. Oh, go ahead, bud. No. Okay. Go, Greybeard, go! <laughs> no. Greybeard at Greybeard's Tavern. Uh, look at my Twitter for all the schedule and all the good games and whatnot. I got some new stuff starting up. But uh, I will also be on the Indoors channel running Dungeon World, but a modified Dungeon World where the characters are anapomorphic helper animals trying to feat the angry. And uh, so we'll... Uh, We'll see how that all goes. It, uh, it should be uh, zany and, and all that kind of goodness. Otherwise, uh, like I said, check the Twitter. And Carla. Hey, I'm Christina Sid. I play Carla. Uh, I'm Greek Sid at the Twitters. Um, I'm on Tuesdays at Femsling Cast playing Neverland 5e. Hashtag Peter Pan is a dick. Um, on Wednesdays, I'm over on uh, Wandering DM's channel. Uh, we just started an Acquisitions Incorporated game that's fucking bonkers, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can check that out as well. Um, and uh, I'm here on Sundays, and I will also be playing in the uh, charity game over at Indoor Adventures channel. Uh, I don't know what time that's at, though, so I'm going to find that out pretty soon, but I'll be there on Which Saturday. Which game are you in? I'm playing Power Outage. So that's the first game. At first game, okay. In the morning. Pacific, three. So three. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sounds Dungeon World oh, first. Hey. Power oh. outage is second, I think. Okay, cool. Look at Indoor Adventures channel. Go check out yeah, Indoor check stuff. Check them out. He's the one that knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, telling you when things are happening. All right, let's do history very quickly, and then we will leave you for the day. So at the end of every session, choose a character who knows you better than they used to. Or worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shot Brulo. I don't know if that makes sense. Maggie <laughs> shot me. <laughs> oh, man. She didn't lie. She knows how to use a gun, just not well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not while riding a motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Brulo, she Mark, let's do your history with Maggie. Dope. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Oh, that just reminded me that I still have harm, and we're about to go to the boss fight. It's gonna oh, be great. fun times! Um, um, I'll I'll just go ahead and say I feel like Traeger knows me a little better. I yeah. handle myself on a bike. What what? Mm. Kind of. Yeah. Sort of. Pretty well. Probably. Yeah. Probably you better stoned. But I rescue like a like a could have. Killed yourself in a rescue, which is non Carla. In okay, that's good. So I get the plus one. I yes, so you mark plus one with go. Carla. Yes, all right. Three boys, Maggie shot me. <laughs> However, I also <laughs> mounted a daring rescue. And therefore, Maggie, mark a point, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I hate your stinking guts. <laughs> um, All right. Traeger, yeah, round us I, out. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's hard. I uh, got nothing really... Um, Nothing stands out because Traeger is Traeger. I'm going to say. Yeah, I guess I guess I will say uh, Carla. Uh, 
because it because uh, she yeah because because she did the daring bike rescue which i didn't think she would do and also uh she reached into the mind and then told us all uh that you know that the uh Graz was involved, even though she's working towards becoming part of the cult. So uh, she kind of put the group before her beliefs. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Aww. We All leveled right. up. Trega. And who marked up Trega? And with that, we have 60 seconds left. So say goodbye, everyone. Thanks Woo! so much for joining us, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. We'll be back for the finale next Sunday at 5 p.m. You're not going to want to miss this one, but we will see you then. I love you all. And good night. Bye. Bye.